testing a theory that we've had for a while that while S7 in the form of this arrow, old arrow, they've come up with the newer, better metal, thicker, that's great, buy them. And our dart. We use 01 tool steel, but we think we made it pretty uh, tough with our process. So we're going to find out, we're going to beat the hell out of these things. You've seen us do that before. And we're going to compare S7 in the form of an arrow and 01 with our process in the form of a dart. And now John the bearded rat is going to whack the hell out of them. We are going to... At the mark, there, Oops. and this is with a four pound sludge, sludge, sledge, sludge. I'm okay, all right. This is uh, after 10 hits on our uh, knives, and it was 3.1 degrees of bending, as you can see, after 10 hits that you just saw previously. I did forget to mention that we did put in both knives, in the holes, a single point of contact for something for me to hit, and that way we'd be more consistent and the hits applied to the knife. Now we are doing the arrow. And as you notice, the same line of delineation. arrow was 1.6 degrees of, of deflection. Basically half of ours. Correct. It would be half. The uh, results of the second round of 10 hits on our knife, we went from 3.1 to 3.4 total deflection. After the second round on the arrow, it went from 1.6 to 2.2 on inflection. So there was deflection. Deflection. My error. <laughs> God, we're good at this. Thank God we make better knives. <laughs> Here we go. Side comment. The bearded rat's an old fart getting more tired. <laughs> Not as old as me. Hold on, hold on. The old rat wants to oh, yeah. get it rearranged. Yes. Yeah. For fairness. Okay, here we go. That last hit was so odd. I don't know if that's me. Well, you are odd, so that does make sense. <laughs> now we have it on video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the arrow. This is for the third round of 10 hits. The uh, our knife went from uh, after 30 hits went from 3.4 to 3.7 degrees of deflection. Well said. All <laughs> <laughs> this the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah. Mars had its biggest deflection. In this. On our knife, after 40 uh, hits, we went from 3.7 to 3.9 degrees of deflection.
This will be the 40th start of the fourth round for the arrow. And we'll give up at 50 before the bearded rat passes out. And does not have consistent power. <laughs> or I use a bigger hammer. Okay. All right. The arrow after 40 hits went from a 2.4 to 3.0 degrees of deflection. This is the start of round five. After the 50 hits on our knife, we went from a 3.9 to 4.1 degrees of deflection. Okay. Okay. Give me a knife. Bella blades will keep in the same sequence. Okay. What we're going to do now is test their fatigue strength based on me getting to whack it in the opposite direction. Now okay. watch that and learn, John. Jesus. Yes, we had a deflection in the opposite direction. It went 5.6 degrees in the opposite direction. That's what I call fatigue. direction. So we definitely see some fatigue in both of them. I like to go till I break one of these bitches. This is the dart. To 10.2 degrees further. We're all together. Okay, now we've got the arrow. Your fatigue factor. Yeah, I know, my fatigue factor is getting worse than the metal. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to call it quits if these things don't break after 30 in the opposite direction. Okay, this is a dart. Okay, that one deflected all the way to 13.6. Opposite direction. Uh, I still find it amazing, though, how much. Well, so I like to test your fatigue. Yeah. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Pit stop. Compensate for my fatigue. Oh, that is good. Okay. Last ten. Ours. 13.6 opposite direction. The arrow, is it 10.1? 10.1, 10.1 in the opposite direction. So these babies have been beaten. And I've got a lot more respect for this steel. But i got a lot of respect for ours too. That's all for now.